Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to this channel and today we'll be showing you around Lakala beach the all the streets and the beaches and how it's like So what you saw before was frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt is a frozen dessert made with yogurt and sometimes other dairy and non-dairy products. Frozen yogurt is a frozen product containing the same basic ingredients as ice cream but contains live bacterial cu cultures. Here in Mijas, it's completely normal to have horses around just, and you can just ride them anywhere. It's a more natural area, so you might see some horses. So there's more places. It's really, really pretty. And the houses are very small and comfortable and so everyone can um, live it's really it's really fun So there you can see a horse, like I told you, you might be seeing some horses, and there's one horse. And the horses just poop anywhere, so you might see even poop on the ground. If you want to come to Mijas and you're in Frangrola, it's only a 6 kilometer drive, so it's pretty close. And these houses, I think you might be able to paint on them yourself by the look of it because they're just ha separate houses 
and everyone's cutting their own plants, so I think you can also paint it. Like this one, it's different from the others, so you can paint it how you like. Like in the apartments over here, you can't paint it. It's the owner of the apartment that paints the outside, but in the inside, you can paint whatever you want. Even the streets, I really love these designs, like the the faint orange and the, the gray ground. For me, it's really pretty. And I'd love to have these streets here, but in our, the streets we have here are just red and white. And the orange match, matches really well with gray. So I would love to have that design here too. So here, as I told you before, they can just cut their own plants, so that lady is cutting her own plants, so th I think they can just paint and do everything they want. So it's like, you can touch everything, it's like your property, so yeah, it's I, th I think that's really nice, just to have your own plants and cut them in any shape you want to suit your liking. And the plants are really cute, like I like these plants and they're really um, nice and the plants are like shaped with just boxes and it, it still looks nice. So when we're heading this way, you can see the ocean. The ocean here in the Cala Mijas is really, really um, wavy, like it's really big and it looks like um, like it's going to come over over the beach, it's going to go to the houses, it looks like that, but it's not. It's just the there was a rise in the sea level earlier, so now the sea is higher, so that's because of all the rain. So there you can see the sea now, like you can see the sea just coming up, so it's really high. And it looks like um, you'd say a tsunami, but it's um, not.
the strongest tidal wave registered in Spain so far reached the height of 18 meters on the same year of the 11th of January 1755, as only 2,000 people were, had died. So it's been a very long time since a really high one. And tsunamis are caused by um, earthquakes so or eruptions under the sea. So there's likely there won't be a tsunami in Spain. So it's a pretty safe country for that. So this shows my dad um, sinking in the sand because of the sand was sinking sand and he was getting carried away and um, it's, it's very dangerous there as you can see and he got all his pumps dirty and everything so don't go too close and you can't swim that's what I would say. And the waves are really, really fast. That's why most of the people get scared and not go. Like, I'm scared of um, oceans. I don't want like to go on them or in them. So, I wouldn't recommend it if you're scared of big waves. But it's pretty fun because of the cold um, water. And here is where people can just sit there and watch the sea instead of going in it and just or just sit there while their children is, are playing in the water. La Cala de Mijas is one of the original fishing villages situated in the Costa del Sol in, in the province of Malaga, a charming village with a restored Moorish tower, a friendly village atmosphere and lots of appeal. Um, it's located between the towns of Pregarola and Barbella, close to the popular urbanization of Calahonda. La Cala de Mijas is a very popular town with many good restaurants, shops, and chemists, and beach from bars. Malaga International Airport is just 20 minutes away, so if you were here and you need to go to the airport, it would be just 20 minutes drive. This place is not... Um, taken over completely by tourism so it's very calm so you don't have lots of tourism in here but there will be some most there's a lot of um, Arabian people so it's really fun So it's really fun here as you can see. I would love to be on the sand. The sand is very soft and it's um, a very nice place to be just to relax and get away from stress. La Cala de Vijas enjoys a subtropical Mediterranean climate with hot summers and warm winters. Cooling breezes from the sea make the summer heat manageable. Temperatures average 32 degrees during the summer, so that's why it's good to come to the beach just to let all the heat 
need to come out. See, so people are also fishing, like I said before, it's a nice fishing spot. La Cala de Mijas might be small, but it's packed with dining out choices from taking the Spanish men menu del día, restaurant seafood, a gone Indian restaurant, British, Thai, and good old Irish pub. Spoil for choice you will be, and if not, hop in the car and pop to Frangola where the choice is even greater. And so Frangola has also really nice restaurants. So that's a lifeguard up there for the people who can't swim. The lifeguards would watch out so they can help them. So if you if you can't swim and if you drown, they're there. So the emergency number is also 112. See, even the pigeons are eating. It's really fun. Um, the, there's children making sandcastles, and the sea looks really high, and it's fun to swim in. So this is the emergency number I was talking about, 112 Junta de Andalucía, so you can call and they come. As you can see, there's people always relaxing and having fun. Even though it's right now still winter and there's clouds, the the water is very cold, but you can still go and fish. And there's always fishes around, so it's easy to get them. Its proximity to Fragola and Marbella make this place a more than recommendable tourist destination all year round. All year round, um, in Mijas not only will we find fantastic beaches, but also great places where one can taste the best typical dishes in Malaga, especially especially if you decide to visit the village in the higher area of Mijas. 
down on the coast we'll be able to try to find out like the famous fried fish in one of the many beach bars our investors are gonna see. Um, La Cala de Vijas is famous for its clean, crystal, clear water and its relaxed atmosphere. La Cala is also the most favorite beach for any uh, for many of the locals fishermen and attra attracts tourists throughout the whole summer. This beach has sun beds to hire, a volleyball net, all the necessary services for the disabled, showers and many other services. There's um, a population of the place of um, Nakara is 4,000. The town is really big. It has a health center, schools, house of culture, and library. La Cala before was known as La Cala de Moral in English, the Bay of Mulberries. Due to the mulberry trees growing in the area, the name was changed in the 1970s to La Cala de Mijas in order to avoid confusion with the similarly named Cala de Moral just outside Malaga. In those early tourist days, La Cala bo boasted some 30 fishermen cottages and a couple of bars, an open-air summer cinema and a butcher's grocers, a small chapel, and a school and little else. So these are just the houses that are ne right next to the beach. Some of them, some of them, like the one that you see after this one, has an Arabian style. So pretty sure there's an Arabian living in there.
so you can also get like ice creams here i know i would definitely and it's really refreshing to have in the summer but especially so this is all for this video just showing the beaches and the houses so i hope you guys liked it please like comment and subscribe and share this video if you liked it and i'll see you in the next adventure Allah Hafiz.